Dear viewer, and welcome back to Lunar Nebula Art on iOS with me, Jalon. We've done Link, and we've done Samus. Today, I think it's time we look at Fox McCloud. And maybe an R-Wing, because there's the old Super Nintendo R-Wing. There's, like, the GameCube era or something. There's Star Fox Adventures. There's, I don't think that's one from Smash. I think that's from Star Fox Zero. That's the N64 Fox, apparently. But yeah, no. Oh. So we'll see what we can get done here. But let's start with the R wing. And I think we do want it swooping in like this one. Yeah. So in that case, let's do triangles. We'll make that white. Let's see. We want it to look kind of like that one, I think. So a little bit like that. Now that is from the back. Hmm. Something to consider. <laughs> so, yeah. We did that. But you know what? We'll flip it. Yeah. Flip it like this. And then... We want to rotate that. Okay. We'll flip it again. Like that. Hmm. Kind of want it at that angle. Okay. Then I think we'll take a diamond. There we go. As the body of the R wing. Yeah. Move it like that. Then we could do this. Yeah. So if we're going to have a similar angle, let's think about this. Something like that. And then, we could figure out where these are going to hit. And do we want it on the diamond shape? Probably. Okay. So because of that... Hmm. Yeah. Then I think we convert both of these to curves. Curves. We can try to maybe get these to poke backwards a bit. Yeah, I think that's kind of what we want. A little bit of foreshortening there. Maybe. Maybe not. And then do we want more diamonds? No, they're just big triangles, aren't they? Okay. Hmm. Triangle. I think we want something like this. Right? Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe we want this under the body but above the wings. Yeah, we could do that. This one could be above the body. Okay. Duplicate it. Flip it. Yeah. Okay. And for this one, similar idea, but I don't think it's going to be quite as perfect a flip. 
Or at least we're gonna make it skinnier. A little bit skinny. Hmm. Like that. I think. Yeah. And then we can decide, do we want the wings to actually be where they currently are, or move them? So let's try this. I want it to be more at the tip of the diamond. Boink. Get rid of that one. That one. Yeah, I think we like it there better. And if we're thinking that, we should do that. And maybe foreshorten it a bit more. And then the question is, since it is behind there, we could even maneuver it so it looks more behind the diamond. Something like that, potentially, but no. I think we'll do this. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking that. And then we just need to make this one and this one a deal, and same with those. And we just change this to kind of this purpley blue color. Purpley blue. I like it. Okay. And then for this one, actually, I think we want to do something similar. Make it a little bit less thick. Not that much. Hmm. Okay. I think we like that. So now we have a paper R wing. Which is pretty great. We will call it R wing. Are we? Oop. Okay. So now, another trick is if we do want a stroke on all this, we can do that. Increase the size. Because there's a black background, it's pretty hard to see. And there we go. And then, one thing we do want to do is make sure scale with object is selected. So if we do want a large stroke like that, it'll scale with the object so it still looks the same. Now if we don't do that, it'll keep the stroke the same size as before instead of in relation. So what I mean by that, as you can see the ratio, the stroke looks much less thick at this size with scale with object because it's not going to stay at the 17.5 font, or not font, uh, just size. It's going to shrink with that in the same ratio as it currently is. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, we do want this to fit in here. And be like behind Fox or something. Yeah, cool stuff. Okay. Um, I think we're happy with that so far. Let's make a foxy fox. And by a foxy fox, I just mean fox and cloud. Hmm. Actually, do we want to steal from our previous designs? I think the answer to that may be yes. So let's duplicate. Move you back that. Okay. So I don't think we need any hat here. The hair? Nah. Nah, bro. Um, you. Just reset the pressure. Okay, we don't need the ear like this, but one thing we could do is just shift the size. 
And we need to add that in as well. Yeah, there we go. So we'll do that. Okay. Let's move this group above our R wing. Or not. Oop, there we go. All right. So, we got this. We don't need the shield. We don't need the sword right now. If ever. We're going to flip the head. Kind of want him similar to Samus, I think, in terms of direction. Um, you put over here. Going to flip this as well. Flip it. Flip it good. There we go. And now we got that. Okay. So we got that for the eyeballs. Hmm. Fox is also usually not very happy, I think. But because he's a doggo looking fox. A fox doggo, if you will. And we'll do something like this. Okay. Yeah. Then, for his nose, it is not quite a diamond. More of a pentagon. Oh, we could just do a triangle. We'll do a triangle. And, because the stroke is so huge, we don't want that. There we go. All right. Of course, it selected the head as well. Actually, do I want to move that like that? I don't think so. I'll do that. So we've got that. Hmm. For the face. I guess I'll select both of them. I don't think he has much of a chin, right? Yeah, he kind of does. His face kind of comes to a point. So, with that in mind, do something like there. Turn that into that. Yeah. Move that in. Okay. We don't need to worry about this nose. Hmm. For the eyes. What do we want to do? Hmm. Let's move them over here for now. Probably just flip them. Is that good for a fox here? Kind of works. I think I actually like that. Hmm. His eyebrows are white. So we will change that. Okay. And his fur is more brown there. More orange here, I'd say. Hmm. Do you want to go somewhere in the middle? We'll go with this orange. Yeah, I think we like that. And then this one. Let's see. Move it up a bit. Okay. Take a look at this gradient fill tool. Hmm. 
yeah. Once again, we kind of want to do, I think, normal. Yeah. Okay. And then we want to decrease the saturation. There we go. I think that is good. Yeah. Hmm. Be a little less dark. Yeah. Yeah. This. Okay. For the ear. Similar idea. Okay, got that. Wait, do we even need that? Ah, that's what's giving us the stroke. That's right. Okay. And then that actually kind of works for the ear, except his ears are darker. Okay. Hmm. With that in mind, Let's go this movement, movement, saturation, saturation, yeah, switch that, okay, and then I think we can just make it darker. Yep. Okay. Hmm. I think we'll just do that. Leave it darker looking. Okay. Now he does have those white tufts. We got kind of a diamond shape to the white tuft of his mouth. White tuft of mouth. Feels like it could be a band name or something. Okay. Do this. Oop. That will be masked into here. Okay. Yeah, it goes up to his eyes. Something like that, maybe? Pull that over there. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I think so. We can pull that out to the side more. I think that works. Now this, I think, is more downward facing. Let's check. Huh? Smooth there. Not there. It's kind of at the edge of his lip. And that one. So we'll do something like that. Okay. We can duplicate this ear. And we can put this one behind the fox head. I just don't want to mask it by accident. 
Okay. His ears are kind of on top of his head. With that in mind. Hmm. Yeah, they are on the top of Z. Okay, so we're going to decrease their size. Okay. So I think I've got a better idea of what we're going to do here. Uh, we can turn that one off, for now anyway, or do that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, most of the time they kind of come to points on the inside and curve up to that from the outside. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. Hmm. Let's try it like this, and just check what we think on the other side. So get rid of that one. Move this one over. Actually, I will put that one behind. Okay, I think I'm liking the look of it like that. Okay. We don't need any belts. Well, oh, maybe that one. Okay. He's got that white vest. With that in mind, I could probably do something weird. Like this. <laughs> and that could be part of the best, potentially. Hmm. Hilarious. Okay, but you. I'm gonna flip over here and like that. Okay. And then. Try to select both of those. Nope. Okay. Nope. If we want that where it is, what we might do, duplicate that, get rid of that, uh, we could get rid of this as well, I'd rather not for now. Yeah. Okay, convert you to that white color, well, oh, I guess it's more of a gray. Gray white. Yeah, I can.
Okay, so now we just want to make this the coat that we wish it to be. There we go. Just make that smooth. Yeah. I think we want that. Hmm. Normally, it's not in his face, but it is in that one. Well, I'll pull it back a bit. There we go. And then for this, we want to just delete this, I think. Wait, why did it do that? There we go. Okay. Delete that. And we'll just duplicate. Get rid of that. We'll do our nifty that thing. And we will decrease the luminance. Okay, well first, let's make it this color. Which apparently we did. Okay. Decrease saturation. I mean, is that right? Okay, it is. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And then from there, we'll reverse that. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. And then we just combine those. Delete that. Duplicate you. Put you behind here. Now behind everything. There we go. And we will change the top of it. Do what's peeking out. Well, not quite that much. Something like that. Then we just need to change the body. Like that. Okay. I think we want his top half, yeah, to be more angular, heroic looking than uh, cute and cuddly. As cute and cuddly as a fox may be, looking like this fox flies through the stars. He has no time to be cute and cuddly. Which is a real shame, really. Okay. We got that. Anything else we should do? Hmm. Yeah, he needs his hands. Hmm. He also has a gun in it, like half of these. Hmm. Or a staff. But a gun. And by gun, we mean laser pistol. Okay. So, with that in mind, let's flip this thing around. If it'll let me. There we go. Put that behind everything else. Alright. This one probably went on top of everything else. Okay. And then, Fox's gloves, usually kind of dark gray, or open like that. So this design could work. Fascinating. Okay, so instead of green for the sleeve, we're going to have that be the white color. And then this one, we want to have match his fur. Okay. 
And then instead of that, I want this to be this white gray. Yeah, we might even just make it pure white. Hmm. Increase saturation, increase luminance. Okay, and this. Hmm. I forget, for Mario's. Eh, it still matches inside there. So, with that in mind, let's do something like this. Okay. And then flip those. Yeah. All right. And I think for Fox's coat, we will also change the color a bit. And his eyebrows are usually outside of his eyes. Hmm. That being the case, do we want that? No, I think we want it like this. Probably. Yeah, probably. Should be fine. All right. And then all these skin color things. Well, switch that to orange. And actually, that skin color kind of works. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. And we do have green for the body. It's kind of hilarious. You know what? We'll copy the style from the head. Copy that. And then... Paste style. That kind of works. And you... Hmm. Delete that. Duplicate. Doo -doo -doo. Paste style. And then change that. And that. Okay. Alright, and that should work. Hmm. And then I think we'll just move this arm up a bit. Do we want the pistol in this hand? We might. Yeah. It's already looking like it's ready for it. Hmm. Got some cool attachments and things in that version. Let's make it black for now. Then... I'll get more of a gunmetal gray. Black. And I think we'll actually make it more angular in the back. There we go. We might be 
be able to put it. Let's see, behind. Yeah, there we go. Now it looks like it's being held more. So do we add those cool things to it? Hmm. Don't think we need to worry about it. But we might. We can make that a different color. Okay. We can just keep messing with it. But for now, I think we'll be fine there. Okay, and Fox kind of has these cool metal boots most of the time. Yeah. So I think we can kind of keep the most kind of similar design with this. We just change the soles. So. Let me remember. Yeah, we don't need the sole, I think. We'll try just on one foot first. Yeah, because his boots look a little more angled. Hmm. Looks like, oh, that's why. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we want them to look kind of angular like that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we delete that for now. Make our lives a little easier. Can you? Hmm. Well, we want the metal portion. I think what we're actually going to do. See so if I just get rid of that. Yeah. It can look a little more spacey, angular. Like you can't cut any corners in space. Okay. I think that'll do. And then I want to get that cool space design. Uh, something like that. Okay. And then for you, we don't need you. Or you. Okay. So we've got that. So we could give them the white boots or the grayish boots. Hmm. Or reddish boots. I think we're gonna go... Oh, he's got so much white right now. Hmm. But that might be good. He's also got a tail. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so now we've got a little tail on him as well, if we wish. And it does have that white tip. Okay. And we'll give her that stroke. And then we can add this. Okay, I think we're liking how that's looking. The question is now for the boot. What to do about the boot color? Mm, I think we do want it white, just so that it kind of meshes with the design. Okay. Boot. Boot, boot, boot. What a boot that. Let's duplicate you. Okay. Moon and luminance. Saturation is already pretty low. We can decrease that just as much. Um, you know what? Copy, paste stop. Flip that. Okay. Then we may want to decide whether to add some stripies in there to add some decals in the boots. Because, yeah. You kind of want to follow the rule of thirds in the sense of small detail, medium detail, large detail, or large space. So large, medium, small spaces. Like in this design, you can see, okay, the big space is kind of the shape of the foot. Medium space, I'd say, is probably this bit, and small is the sole of the foot. So we kind of want to follow that as well. Hmm. With that in mind... Let's get our pen tool and add some fun little lines in here. We'll make it black. Decrease that. Okay. Then we can finagle it. Something like that. And for these boots down here, they usually have a big toe. So. Copy that. Want a big toe. Yeah. So, I think we're even going to move this up a bit. So it's a smaller space. So we have a small, medium, big. Yeah, and I think that works. Okay. And if we want, we can adjust the shadows a bit. So we'll put a little bit there. A little bit here. And then... Yeah, we'll just extend those. Okay. Yep. So now we've got a boot. All right. And of course it didn't switch the coins inside. We'll combine those. And then delete that. 
Okay. One of yes needs to go beneath the body. So it looks like it's not at the front. <laughs> Eventually it will make it. Alright. There we go. There. Right. And then this other one. I'm going to flip. Move it. It's out here. And we can change that. Okay. Let's get rid of these for now. Change the shape of the boot. Okay. Move that in. And then move these in. You can do something like that. Okay. Trying to get that little handle. Yeah. Trying to make it look like there's a little bit of a spotlight on the top of the shoe. Okay. And you know what? I'll move this too. Okay, so now we can add these curves back in, and we'll move them around as desired. For now, mostly this guy. Okay. Well, all right. All right, so taking some time to think about it, and I believe so I'm just going to move these above the eyes, wherever I put those eyes. Hmm. With that in mind, where did I put the eyes? <laughs> hmm. Oh, there they are. Okay. Wow, they blend in. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. But I think I need to move this one up a little bit. I feel like that's too much. There we go. All right, sometimes you need to turn off that magnet to get things a little more finessed. All right. So we want this one. Let's change the colors here. There we go with that one. And then for this one. Let's think about it by not worrying about it at all. Okay. And this, we will copy the previous one. Where did I put that? Should be near the top. There it is. We will copy and paste. Copy. His style. And then we just need to maneuver that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Okay. And then... No, I think that's good. No. Okay. And then let's maneuver that. So there we go. By the way, if you want to know some interesting facts about Star Fox, I highly recommend Did You Know Gaming. They have some fun information, like the fact that uh, the original design of Fox may in fact be uh, <laughs> designed to have his, his legs cut off and replaced with like robotic legs to decrease the blood flow going to his legs from G-forces. Just, uh, yeah, fun little terrifying fact there. Or idea, or theory. You know, like you do. Okay, so let's copy these. I should get every part of the fingers. There we go. Duplicate. Yoink. And then we can just maneuver these until we have them where we want them. Hmm. I think we want to do this way. Yeah. There we go. And then group these together. We'll move that down to the other arm. There we go. Alright. So now this box looks like he's ready for business. Right. Right. Get rid of that shoe. Okay. And we just want to make sure we have the right belt and the right green color. I think we'll go with this simpler belt. Yeah. Make it kind of that dark gray. And all that. So we got that. So this green will be replaced with this darker green. There we go. And to contrast pretty well with the lighter white color. Hmm. But the darker shadows are making it a little less contrasty. Okay. Well, we'll deal with it eventually. Unless I do this. Ooh. A little bit brighter. Which fits Paper Mario style better. A little bit brighter is good. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And then the belt. Okay, belt. We will make you good. By copying the color of the original belt. I kind of like that gold color with it. But away. Mm -hmm. For you, and this lighter silvery color, and then internally we want to have another little triangle, maybe emboss it. Mm -hmm. Okay, something to consider. All right then, since we're going to make it a triangle. Let's get rid of this. We can delete all of that. Work on making it a triangle. Kind of shape. Since it's more of a trapezoid, really, at the moment. And then a triangle inside. Okay. Trap the triangle. Got it. Oop. I'll just return those into sharp angles. Okay. That should do. Let's move it over a bit. And then... As much as I like the metallic look of that, we're going to delete it. And then we'll get the triangle. 
And we'll flip this one. Move it around. Yeah, I think that's good. And then I think we'll actually move both of these above the belt. Yeah. So I think that's how it looks on that one. It does. Okay. So we can do that. Hmm. Okay. We could still mess with it and make it look perfect, but when we zoom out, it's not going to be terribly noticeable if that's perfect or not. So, yeah. I think we're good. Let's try to do the bevel emboss. I think we can get rid of that stroke then. Hmm. I think that's what we want. I, we probably just need to make that more obvious with its effect. Alright. Triangle. Bevel emboss. Hmm. We got that. We can increase the depth. We could try to soften that. I think we want to change how that's looking. Hmm. Let's see. Elevation, maybe? No. Hmm. I'm thinking there's a way to control which side looks like it is like that. Hmm. The angle, I guess. Invert? No. Unless maybe. Yeah, it's brighter on that side because the light is hitting that side. It's darker on the top. And less dark. On this bit. Hmm. So, as I can't seem to get it the way I want it at the moment. Hmm. Maybe we need ah something like that. Invert. Ah. Okay, that's what we wanted. So we needed the inner, and we wanted to invert it. And then we can increase the depth if we wish, which I think we do wish. Didn't change the radius there. I think something like that. Hmm. Application. We're just going to play around till we get it where we like it. I think that's decent. Okay. So we've got that triangle. Our trapezoid isn't exactly perfect. <laughs> so I may want to switch it around. But for now, I'm not going to worry too, too much. Okay. And then, do I want to give it a similar treatment? I think I want to bevel emboss the trapezoid. I think that'll save us some time. Let's see. Eh. Not perfect yet.
Okay. Hmm. Then the real question is, how do I get rid of the part I don't want? I think what we're going to do is create a layer mask here. Okay. Is it working? Huh. Huh. So it looks like I can't get rid of the little bit around it. Okay. So we're going to undo the layer mask. Hmm. So it looks like maybe this shape is too small for this effect. So what we're going to do is duplicate. Get rid of the effect. And I'll put this on top. And then we are going to use the pen tool here. create this effect we want. Okay, we'll have that color be kind of black, put it in there, so now it's stuck inside. Now we're going to get rid of that, actually. Yoink. Okay, and then we can kind of shape this how we want. Alright. Something like that. And then of course we can Gaussian Blur it. Gaussian Blur is kind of our best friend. Okay. Yeah, so we got that. And then if you pull this back out, do I want to make anything lighter on the other bit? Hmm. I guess we don't need to. And the dogs seem to agree. Okay then. But if we did want to, we could just duplicate you. Flip it around town. And then. Hmm. I think actually. I could do something like this. Yeah. Then we just change that color. We'll make it. In this color first. And then increase the luminance. There we go. All right. And we have a little bit more depth to that. Okay. So that's the cheatery way to do it, I guess. If uh, you can't do it the quick way. All right. So we did that. I think I'm content with how that belt looks. Right? Yeah. Okay, then we delete this thing, go back to here, <laughs> I'm going to group that up, and then underneath it we're going to want this color, Oop. Oop. Mm hmm All right, similar idea as before. Decrease the luminance, decrease the saturation. Make it the same color. Okay. And then transparency. Flip that. Yeah. Something like that. 
Okay. So I think we're pretty happy with how that's looking. We could add another thing to the gun, but I don't think we're going to worry about that. The pistol is fine. Okay, so we got Star Fox. I might move one of these feet. Just because. Okay, and that's his face, so I'm going to combine that. Make sure that all these facial features are together. Okay. All right, foot. Let's raise it up. Make it look like he's ready to rumble. There we go. All right, so we've got Fox McCloud in a little bit of a pose. And then we've got the R-Wing. And the real question is, do we want to add shadows to the R-Wing, I guess? Hmm. It's an idea. I guess we'll make this smaller. There we go. All right. So for now, I think we're pretty happy with that. Okay. Yeah, and we could do more work on the R-Wing if we want. I think it actually is kind of fun, just being that very obvious shape. Yeah, so I'm not going to do anything else to it, I think. But we could. Hmm. Let's do something like that, maybe? Yeah. But it could be in something similar for a paper Star Fox. Or Star Fox Paper Trails, or Paper Fox, or whatever. Uh, kind of like the Super Paper Mario level with Squip, I think it is. It's the space level where you can basically use a little alien to shoot. Mr. L's very big robot. So yeah, there's a precedence for it, basically, in Super Paper Mario. So leave a like if you've enjoyed this video, dear viewer. Comment below on what Nintendo characters you would like to see in a Paper Mario style. Subscribe to see more Lunar Nebula art videos. And if you think somebody might like this, you could share it with them. You know, maybe laugh at my weird comments and stuff. And have a great day.